Hello everyone, Damien here from DK Brick Studios. Today, we'll be taking a look at my Lancer Big Daddy from Bioshock 2. So, before we get started, let's let that intro roll and we'll get started with it, shall we? Let's... Alrighty, so here we are and here he is, the Lancer Big Daddy and with his little sister in a nice blue dress, which we'll take a look at her later. Of course, our main attraction today is the is the Lancer. So we're gonna hide her for right now, and of course, we'll hide the ion laser, ion laser, ion can, ion laser when we are done here. After we're done taking a look at him overall. So yeah, I honestly like how he looks. He looks really good. He's got a lot of yellow on him, but that is accurate to his look. Um. There is, um, we're gonna, uh, when we go over it, you'll be seeing right here some black, and there's some black underneath the bits here to kind of help separate the helmet from the, the port from the helmet, uh, just to, you know, make it a little separate, trying to make it separate a bit. I don't want to make it be like, oh, hey, there. I want to make it be, make you notice it's separate. So, yeah, I really like how this looks. Uh, the backpack looks it's very clean. This is the most advanced Big Daddy from the Bioshock franchise, and honestly, I think I really did a good job with him, nailing him. And, of course, here is his cannon, which we'll take a look at later. But for right now, we're going to hide it. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Oh, wait, I might have accidentally hidden a part of him. Okay, we just hide all that, and now we just look at him. Okay, so let's get a closer look at him. Let's get a closer look on the helmet here. Nice yellow with some brown along there to kind of do that armoring and all that, like the little clovage under there. Like I said earlier, the black here is to kind of help separate the lights, the little ports from the side of the helmet. Got a nice strip, a uh, nice one one by four here to, uh, to kind of help accentuate the front with a two by two here, some black here, some one by sixes, nice um fin going on the back here. I really like how that uh, looks. Kind of really make this really looks like it continues on from there to the fin. Looks really good. You could probably do a curved plate here. And put that there. We have this here, the um, one of the tanks here, which I like how this looks because it looks like it actually is like kind of like bang, like it's got like all those rivet holes in them, rivets in them, kind of, you know. We've got the other little thing here, other one here, connected to it. Any clever way, cleverly designed. The upper arms are black, are brown, nice dark brown. Uh, nice normal brown, actually, not dark brown, but just brown with some. Of course, we got down here, well, the front here is black for a portion. And then we have back here some yellow, yellow. We've got two little tanks here as well that are on this guy. A little bit for the crotch. I'm like, that's on the crotch, yellow area down there, yellow, pretty much yellow legs all the way down uh, from here, nice kneecaps here and here, a uh, bit on the front, that's pretty much, uh, I didn't change that because I stick with that with uh, the um, uh, the other version, so the front's going to be a bit hindered, unfortunately, but that's kind of how it is, unfortunately, I stuck with that. So, yeah, pretty standard foot design, I will say. So, yeah, the leg design is pretty similar to uh, the Rumbler and the Rosie. The yeah, hand design, somewhat similar to the Rumbler, but with a 2x2. Two 2x2 two. Two, two two plates here with a 2x3. Two 2x4 four, two four here. Obviously clips in the hands. And, yeah, let's quickly go over articulation. And, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, so... The arms, I don't think, can really go, so the arms don't really go in much. Can't, 
Okay, can you get this back? They can't go in as much as they would normally because, well, that's there. The 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 boil, the little tanks on the side are blocking it, but they can go out that far. <coughs> the arm can go that far forward at that angle, that far back. Well, wait. Okay, I thought I was interfering with that, but we kind of bring it down a bit, maybe up a portion, a little bit. Okay, I think we're good there. No interfering. No interfering bits. We could, there, there's probably a way to squeeze a bit more of an articulation out of this. Uh, there probably is a way, I, I just don't know it yet, but there is probably a way. There's, I can go that far, and I can go that far back. Uh, there's probably a way to squeeze some more articulation out of this, um, but I don't fully know that at the moment. Um, the arm obviously can also do this. It has its wiggle motion here, so you know it can do that as well. The elbows, they can rotate that far up pretty much as normal as you're going to get with these guys. Uh, they can do, go back that far, which, I mean, you're breaking his elbow essentially at that point. They can rotate as well, and they can hinge in and out, if that serves you any thing. The wrists are on a Technic pin, so they rotate. can rotate pretty much 360. This can rotate. In and out, as always. Uh, we'll need to move this out now. I don't really care that's interfering. It's colliding with things, so... Legs can go this far. and go... That far forward, before they start hitting the, the, the tank here. And that far back, before they start hitting the tank. So not that bad of, out, of uh, forward and backward movement. Uh, some good outward articulation before he starts hitting the tank there. Uh, and of course, as always, you know, we have that, um, we have this joint, which, you know, you can do whatever you so desire with. Um, it's whatever, you know, do whatever you wish with that. Um, the leg here can rotate that far back. The joints here, uh, not that, but this, can't, uh, if I can, can barely move forward, but can definitely get some backward articulation there, and of course, as always, these things have some ankle tilt, have an ankle tilt, so yeah, that is that for the Lancer's articulation, um, Let's bring back the uh, laser cannon and uh, the gun, and we'll take a look at that. So yeah, I'm gonna bring that back. I'm gonna hide him. All right, so. Here it is, the laser cannon, or the ion laser, um, the ion la ion gun, or the laser gun, I, I, I know it's one of those terminologies. I believe I did a really good job of nailing this. We have the nice long uh, glass barrel for the laser, you can put a nice one by one um, transparent, uh, you can put a transparent yellow piece at the front of this. Of like a lightsaber rod or whatever you can put, you can put there. Put whatever you want there to make it look like it's firing. We have the, we have this bit at the front uh, on this on the bottom, as accurate to the model uh, to it. Uh, we have this bar up here for you to for him to hold it as he does in as you as normally you know. Um, we have this bit here which is where the clips normally would store. Don't have a clip for you to put in, unfortunately, but you can always, you know, maybe, I mean, you, it's up to you if you want to modify it, but I wouldn't really recommend 
Uh, doing uh, that. Uh, how the heck did I attach this thing? Oh, that's you. That's a two by two. That's you. Okay. So yeah, I think I did a really good job of nailing this. This thing looks pretty good. Looks really accurate. You can give this to any of the big daddies. You could definitely give this to Subject Delta, who will be who will be the next Mock Spotlight. Um, who you can make him as uh, Subject Sigma for when you do, if you want to do a Subject Sigma model. This can be a Subject Sigma weapon you make for him. Um, I mean, you could give it to any Alpha Series big daddy if you'd like. If you follow my Subject Delta model as well. So, I mean, hey, up to you, whatever you'd like. I'm not going to force you to build it, uh, do whatever you want. You, This is going to be, if you build this, it, it's your model, do whatever you want. Uh, so, yeah, why the hell are those one by ones? I forget why those are one by ones, but okay. But yeah, I think that's basically with the gun, so let's show all. Let's hide the guy, and then we're going to, after we look at the little sister, take a look at everything independently. So, little sister. She's in a nice blue dress, which I really like. Uh, we obviously have her Adam syringe, which you normally need to have with your little sister. She's got to have her Adam syringe. She's in her brunette. She's got brunette hair, although the normal version of the first, the one we see in Bioshock, the first Bioshock game when it's in blue dress, was blonde. I don't care. Look, hey, it's a girl. They can wear whatever color dress they want, if whatever hair color they have. Okay, I don't care. But yeah, that you can make her blonde, brute, redhead. Uh, this will be the last little sister we actually make. Actually, uh, after subject, once we do the lancer, she will be the last one. Uh, subject Delta actually doesn't come come with any um, little sisters. I mean, not that he. I mean, I didn't really integrate a way to make him hold a little sister, although I should have figured out a way. I mean, I'm sure there's a way for you guys to, for somebody to actually put a little sister on his back. But again, I didn't really figure out that fully. Figure that out. But you can probably figure that out once you build him. Uh, he will be, not next week, but the week after that, that is the tutorial. Next week, his uh, mock spotlight will be coming out. So you'll get to see him in all of his entirety. Um, we have her arms here, as always, you know. Her nice, her legs, you know. Let's quickly, uh, speaking of, like, what her stuff is, let's go over her articulation here. Her head, obviously, is on a ball joint, so she can rotate it however she wishes. Her head can go up and down. Oh, wait, I messed that up. Um, it can go the frack. If I click on this piece, close, it can go up that far, it can go down this far, it can also uh, rotate side to side. Let me kind of zoom in on here. Get a little bit more side to side, like so. Her arms, um, the joint here goes in and out, like so. So not really much at the shoulder. Nothing really at the elbow. Let's move this elbow, because why not? Uh, that much of an elbow, to, uh, elbow bend. Um, how to hear you. Uh, we have this much full backward, this much forward leg movement. Uh, that much, uh, pretty much a lot, a good, as much, a, a lot of leg, outward leg movement. Uh, they can't really rotate. Legs back down here, can move back, and they can kind of do that. So, yeah. That's that. That's her. I believe that's pretty much everything to cover with her. 
So let's bring in the big dad back in. Show them together. I really like how these two look. <clears throat> and yeah, we'll be uh, so yeah. This is our last uh, big daddy model of like the unknown, like the named, like of like just the normal like models, like the little sisters. And then we have um, the subject Delta slash uh, the main player, main character slash um, player slash uh, other type big daddy. And then we have little sisters. And then we'll be wrapping up with Bioshock. So yeah. Bioshock is nearing an end, unfortunately, but there'll be another wave of uh, in the future, folks. Don't worry, there'll be another wave. I'll be doing another wave in the future, so get ready for that. Um, yeah, as I say, like I really like how they look. These guys look great. Um, I again, I'm gonna say this. I'd recommend building them all because they all even the Delta when Delta comes out because Delta looks great. He has that. He just has that look about him that looks. He just looks great. And menacing, and I'd recommend building that. But yeah, Delta looks great. This guy looks great. All of them look great. I'd highly recommend building about build it, Big Daddy. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed the video, I as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Uh, this is Damien from DK Brick Studios. Thing. I remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Check out my friends on arrive. Link is in the description down below. As always. Also, check out my Patreon, link to that in the description down below, as recently, very recently, as of this being coming up, but, uh, yeah, also check out DK Gaming Studios, uh, link to that has been, is now in the description, down below, check that out, um, we're doing the Minecraft now on there, as long as the other two series have been going on, also, check out my socials, link to those in the description down below, and I think that's pretty much it, so this is Damien from DK Brick Studios in room with the force and the force of other views with you always. I'll see you all in the next video. Trust in your feelings